Hello everyone, this is Umar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RHCSA practice exam series. So in this we will be solving uh, question number 9 which is related to archive, compress, unpack and uncompress files. So in one, in one, in one question we will try to solve, address all these, uh, all these areas. So the question is asking you to create a slash backup directory and set the permission to 755 and create a backup named this is the this is the back name of the file it should create and backup file should contain the contents of this one so we have to take the backup of this one under slash backup and name the backup uh, backup.tar.bz2 and should be zipped with the bzip2 compression format so we will be using bzip2 compression format to take the backup of this directory and put it put the backup here and then restore the backup under directory home rscsa9 restore All right so we will we will take the backup of the, this directory into a bzip2 uh, format and put the file under slash backup and then uh, uncompress it restore in into the rscsa9 restore directory so this with this activity will actually uh, come, you know address all these all these objectives so let's go ahead and try to solve this problem so the first thing first is login as rscsa9 user because rscsa9 user has a sudo access so we'll run this command we'll create the directory we'll create the directory all right we'll set the directory permission to 755 and then we will take the backup of the file of that directory location so what this command is doing it is using tar tar is the is the command if you don't know about the command don't worry about it just go there is a reference document out here try to go and read what tar does it actually comp it actually it's kind of a zip and compress format so you can combine multiple files into a single file and then you can further compress it using any bzip2 or zip format or in the compression format you of your choice so this is what we are going to do here so we will run this command and what this command will do it will create these are the flags that you need to understand so try to uh, go through the man pages and try to read about it it will see is for creating j is the format j j flag is for the bzip2 format verbose and forcefully so you can ignore this one as well it will not show you the output in the on the screen but we are using this uh, this these flags so that we know that this command ran successfully it will create the file you have to uh, give the name of the file you want to create first from what so you have to take the backup of slash usr slash local so we'll be taking the backup of this directory the content of this directory entire content of this directory and compressing and zipping it into this file using this command so let's go ahead and do that it's a small directory so it created it so let's go to backup folder and see if the file is created all right file is created so let's go and to the next section of the question so we'll try to restore that now so we have we will restore the backup under this directory using this command so just to confirm our backup ran successfully so this is the uh, we have to go to the restore directory so let's see restore directory exists so we are into slash form rscsa9 restore if this directory don't exist just create it using mkdir and then we will be running this command to to extract all the content of the backup file so as you can see it ran very quickly and if you go to this one it will give you user local it created it has all the content of the files so this is how you compress and restore the file so there is a quick reference out here it's not complete but it will give you the idea and for, for more details you can you can google this command you can try try to know what bzip2 format is try to know how the tar command works so it will help you understand and solve the question in much better and quicker way so that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.